energy and like an extra for real for real. Yeah, that was just a spark of energy that um, we should have had from the beginning of the game. Um, unfortunately, it was too late. So, uh, yeah, we needed that all the game. We needed to start doing that from the jump. In a game like this, obviously, the heavy flows. flows. Um, what you guys, what do you guys take away on a, on a game like tonight? Just that we need to come out with a purpose. We need to come out dominating from jump. We can't we can't start off late and trying to get ourselves back into the game later on because um, clearly that, that doesn't work for us and um, it's not how we play. So um, I think if we just dominate from the jump and play defense like we know how we can from jump, we won't have these problems, these close game situations um, towards the end. So they would just need to be more solid and more disciplined on both ends. Right. They shot 50% from three, particularly those skip passes to, to find the guys in the corner. What did you guys try and do to, to combat how hot they were from outside? We tried to make them put the, put the ball on the ground and do hard closeouts. But it was certain guys that, you know, that our matchup that we did scouting on that we knew could shoot, and some guys we knew that couldn't shoot. So I feel like we got to take our matchups and scouting more seriously, make the students to the game. What was your guys' thoughts on um, Toby making his first start and actually um, being a double figure tonight? Uh, my thoughts on that, that was great. You know, I took a great game after the game still, you know, even though he took the L. But you know, I feel like he had a great energy, great, great effort, you know, filling in that spot for JJ. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think he was a, a, big, a big spark for us in certain moments of the game, um, using his athleticism and his wingspan. And he, he's able to defend like crazy. He's able to grab rebounds out the air from everybody. He's able to finish over people. So um, even though we lost, it was a great big step for uh, for Toby that we're going to need uh, throughout the season. Brandon, you were really able to get to the line there down the stretch and keep you guys within striking distance. What was the difference for you and your ability to, to get to the line and be more aggressive there in those last few minutes? I just wanted to go all out with my effort. Um, I wanted to make sure that we had every possible chance to try to get back in the game. Um, there was any 50-50 balls. I wanted to get every single one of those. Um, it was just to be aggressive and uh, keep being physical because that was how we, got, we were getting to the line, and that's how we were closing the gap um, from the deficit. So, like I said, we, have, we should be doing that from, jump, from the jump of the game. So, Nolan and Marsh, specifically for them, were, were really good. What kind of challenges did they present to you guys defensively? They, they, were, they did real good today, you know, that's why they had a big game. So the big, the big and the guard, they did real good against us on our defense. So they gave us a hard time, you know, defending, and we had to switch up our defensive stand, you know, throughout the game a lot as well. Yeah, they, I think they both shot 50% from the field goal. So those were two um, big scouts that we wanted to shut down. So, um, I mean, they played discipline, they played hard. Um, and all credit goes to them for playing the way they did. Um, but it just shows that we need to be better in certain areas. You know, we need to, uh, like Jayna said, crack down on the scouting report and uh, be suited to the game. Yeah. And you guys collectively from three-point range, any, what are the conversations about how to try and get it going from beyond the arc? Is it a schematic thing? Is it a mindset thing? Um, I feel like it's just inside out threes. I feel like from the jump, I feel like we forced a lot of threes that we didn't have to instead of just in the paint and getting inside out threes where we shoot the ball at a higher percentage from as well. So I feel like we were just forcing the ball a little bit more than just getting inside out and playing the way we play. I also think it's a mindset just to have that confidence in that shot. Um, I think we had plenty of open looks and um, they didn't fall, but um, it's just that next shot and we just gotta keep shooting, shoot, shoot, so. Anything else, guys? Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks.